So you may or may not notice my level is quite a bit higher. I gained about like five or seven levels farming for that equipment from those enemies that we fought before. Let's see, what, what did I get? I got the, uh, let's put the, not that, what am I doing? Valkyrie mask back on. Let's see, we got the, uh, Night Helm. Which is pretty good, actually. Knightly headgear. It's probably better than the Valkyrie mask, I would say, defensively. Attack goes down a little bit, but defense and mine go up, so it's pretty good. Uh, what else did I get? Um, 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 mere cuirass from the Gorgon Head. Mirrored armor protects the wearer from petrification. But other than that, it's not that great. But, you know. Barbarian Belt. Piecemeal armor worn by barbarians. Which brings up your attack. Which is what the barbarian equipment basically does. Um, did, did I get another? I think I got some other kind of... Maybe it's here. Yeah, Barbarian Shoes. Why do Barbarians wear open-toed sandals like this? Brings up your attack. And I got like five of them because I kept getting it before I got the other drop the belt thing. But, yeah. And we're, we're going to be using Medusa for the next boss, but I would recommend leveling it up to level 3 by absorbing uh, 30 of them. Which doesn't take too long, but as you can see, it has six surrounding you instead of two. Which will make the next boss fight much easier to do. We want the Death Ring on. Um, and pretty much anything that brings up intelligence. But, um, yeah, to do it, because if you, we're, we're going to be fighting Death, if you couldn't guess. And as you know, in pretty much all Death fights, sights randomly float around the room, so... Having that Medusa thing on will be very helpful, it'll protect us from that. Doing it without that will make getting the metal very tricky. And <laughs> no thanks. And I'm, we're gonna go ahead and get the um, the nitrous and the and the uh, sword lift because that'll allow us to do the blade of light union, which will just tear this guy apart. I mean, you have no idea. Oh yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm gonna cut you down with the blade of light, gallery style. That's what's gonna happen. And this is just going to make this fight so fast, it'll be stupid. I mean, most of his attacks, he he's not even going to get to do. Look, it's over. Sorry, Death. Death Metal. And <laughs> Death Metal. You know what I'm talking about, you metalheads watching. Alright, so let's put our good stuff back on. Yeah, I made that look so easy. That's what happens when you're super prepared. If, if, if you're not super prepared, it's not going to be so easy. But we're just lucky he's weak against light, so he dies really quick from it. Alrighty then. So I guess that just leaves one more boss, and I think you know who that is. I mean, come on. Dracula's Confidon knows dark secrets hidden from all others. 4444 four, four experience and 4444 four, four, four HP. Medal awarded for defeating Dracula's servant, Death. Alright, so we want to come over here and get the final Cerberus glyph. Attack with the left head of Cerberus, Guardian of Hell. You may be wondering what we need these for. It's resonating with the others. Is this the final piece? Now the question is how to bring these three glyphs together. So what we need these for is to open up a path to the final area. But we haven't actually been to that part yet. So that's where we need to go now. But yeah, the, the final area is not really that long. It kind of just takes you to the uh, final boss. And a kind of a path that goes, that connects to the, uh, to the uh, library area that we were at before. And we're going to be getting a very useful glyph that we actually need to get before we can actually do that. Kind of a glyph we've been kind of waiting the whole game for. You might be able to guess what that is. Oh yeah. Here we have the Forsaken Cloister. We have some cave trolls for some unknown reason, but... Yeah, like the main purpose of this area is, is for the Cerberus Gate, which takes us to the final area. Takes us to hell, basically. You know, because Cerberus is the guardian of hell and such. It makes sense. At least I think it does. And we tumbled up again. We're probably like over-leveled for this game at this point, because I gained a lot of levels from farming. 
Here we go. There are magic energies coursing through this room. If that statue is Cerberus, then this must be the gateway into hell. Pretty much. I just need to figure out how to unseal it. It's not that complicated. Basically, you just put on the, the three Cerberus glyphs and then use them. That's it. Not complicated at all. I don't think you have to use them in a certain order or anything. I mean, any order seems to work. So. Yeah. There we are. Okay. Where are you? There you are. All right. Woo! The entrance to hell has been opened. It worked. The power inside is incredible. Is it Dracula? Must be. The time has come, Albus. To end this, I must tread into hell itself. Sounds fun. All right. I don't remember what's to the right, but I don't think it's important or anything. So this is just an upward path with infinitely spawning enemies that we've already fought. Not a big deal. And there's no music, so that makes it even more ominous. But there is, I think, freaking hell. To that glyph again. I don't think we can level it up anymore. I'm not sure. But I think you can break open this. Yeah, there it is. There's something in here. Eyes bin. And I guess I could show you that item that I went back for that I told you I missed. It was... It, yeah, I's been hamming up with this salted pork shank and mint sundae. Ice cream and soda combined in a delicate dance of delicious. That was in a uh, ledge right outside of Elagor's room, if you're curious. So, yeah. So, let's head into the final area of the game. Like I said, it's not really that long or anything. Final approach. So it doesn't really look like hell to me, but whatever, man. So we got some blizzard men blades, some imps, and some uh, devils. Not really a big deal. Nothing really too dangerous. We've dealt with much worse. Lots of imps. This place does have good music, though. I mean. What place doesn't? I mean, really. More Lizard Man Blades doing the pee-pee dance. That's always fun. Kind of nice background that you can see out the window there. I like that little effect. Sapphire! Sorry, Lizard Man Blade, but... We need to get past you, sir! And we got some more Spectrosaurs. I'm not even going to bother putting the uh, the one thing on. Morbus or whatever it's called. I'll just use this. This is okay, but it's a little harder to hit them with. Especially if they decide to hang out in the ceiling. Like like this guy's clearly going to do. Uh, what a bastard. But yeah, I really can't be bothered to go and put that glove on. Not a big deal, though. Alrighty then. Blade Master and a and a pretty awesome portrait of Dracula in the background. It, and this is the troll room. Like literally cave trolls everywhere. Now now there's two ways to leave the tomb. The bottom left, which we're gonna take, and the top right, but we're not taking that path. Because it takes you to the final boss. And we're not gonna do that yet. Because we got stuff to do. There are two like optional areas that we can go to it now. Which we're definitely going to do before we finish the game. And on the way out, like I said, there's a very important glyph that we're going to be getting over this way. One that we've been waiting the entire game to get! And here we have a new enemy, the Lilith. Feels like it's been a while since we've found a new enemy. But there it is. Got 94% of the enemies. Lilith temp tempts her victims by exploiting their most secret fantasies. So, what's your guys' secret fantasy, hmm? Anyway, we got a final knight, who's, who's kind of annoying because he's hard to damage. But yeah, the beam's probably the, the, the best way to go. Like, a lot of your like physical weapons, like spears, aren't going to do a whole lot of damage. Maybe an axe would, but uh, whatever. The beam's good enough. 
He has some rare drops. I don't know if I'm going to farm for them. I probably will. I usually do. This Elite Warrior sees intruders as its quarry. 573 experience. I believe that's the most experience for a single enemy so far. Whoa. They're basically an upgraded version of the Great Knight. They're a little bit bigger. And they have like a shockwave attack, but otherwise it's pretty much the same enemy. And just harder to damage, and yeah. That kind of deal. So here, come down here, we got a shift. MP Maximum, we have a new enemy. This is Winged Skeleton rather than Winged Guard. They have a glyph we want to get. Well, we don't need it, but I, I, I would like to get it. If that's okay with you guys. An image of death given wings to soar through the night sky. So it, it is a five-star rating, so it might take a while, but the good thing is there's tons of them and they keep coming, so... With that said, it shouldn't take too long, and there's a glyph. There's that glyph I was talking about. Villagius conjures a pair of wings along the power of flight. Yes, we can finally fly. And I love how they waited until the very end of the game to let you fly. Thanks, Konami. I appreciate it. So, I'm not gonna, like, stop recording and farm with this, but we're just gonna do this because it shouldn't take very long. Hopefully. I hope so. I mean, come on, we got the luck up thing going, and we get some silver ore for whatever reason. We don't need it, but there it is. Yeah, in my opinion, this glyph that we're farming for is very, very uh, useless, in my opinion. But, you know, we, we gotta get it. I mean, we've gotten every other glyph, so... We can't stop now. We gotta get this one, too. Such is the way of things. I hate when they fly up too high. I mean, yeah, I could put the uh, wings on and fly up there, but then I wouldn't have the luck boost, and that wouldn't be fun. There we go, that didn't take too long. Fidelis Alate summons guardians to glide down from above. Basically, you summon one of them, and it does very low damage to enemies. <laughs> That's basically what it is. So there you go. <laughs> Ours is like gold, for some reason. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty useless in my opinion. But this is not useless at all. Because we need this to get up there. Which is a room full of chests. And bugbears. Apparently they're guarding the chests. Blue drops. Sun ring. I think that's the last arcana ring. MP max up. And heart max up. Where's the HP max up at? Let me get some blue drops. It's nice. And the sun ring, which is basically the opposite of the moon ring. Status increases in daytime, so I guess that's cool. I never really use those. I don't know, man. I just don't. But that's just me. So this is a long hallway that's going to take us back to the library area. Connect this place up. There's the gate we can open up, but it's weird. It's like a it's like alligator mouths. I don't know if you can be damaged by them, but I'm not gonna test that out. So we we can connect this place. This, this room just has a couple enemies in it. Yeah, the devil, and there's a great knight down there. That's pretty much it. Its only purpose is to, you know, c connect these two areas basically. Yeah, the only way to actually get up to this room from the bottom is to fly. That's the only way you, you can actually get up there. That's why we couldn't get there before. So, yeah. So now... All, I guess all, all that's left to do is to do the uh, optional areas, right? So we're going to head back to the village for now, and then we're going to, uh, you know, heal up, and then... Oh boy, a Tin Man. That's fun. We're going to heal up, and... Uh, I guess we'll do the uh, the optional areas before we take on the final boss and finish this game. I mean, it sounds like a plan to me. Okay. Uh, but this game's almost over. Seems like I've been doing this game for a while, but like it's not that long or anything. I just I don't know. 
I, I think it's because there have been points where I didn't re record for a while, so... Yeah. So it just seems like it's been going on longer than it has. I don't know. But either way, we're going to head back to the village. And, um, yeah. It's going to be pretty cool. Let's do the usual grab the random chest that we don't really need, but... You know, get some random milk and coffee and meat, whatever. Who cares? Stuff I'll probably never use, but you never know. Maybe I'll use it. You never know. Coffee! Blah. 